joining me today. Continuing on our series of bushcraft on a budget, I wanted to demonstrate to you the folding camp saw. Uh, so let's get right to it. This saw uh, cost me around, um, I think it was $20 at Canadian Tire. Well under $100 US. And for those of you who haven't seen the first episode of the series that explains what we're doing in this series, we are, uh, what I'm doing is I'm um, showing you implements that are less than a hundred US dollars. Okay. In Canadian dollars that would be about a hundred and thirty Canadian dollars. But we'll uh, do, do everything in US uh, so that uh, people from around the world can get an idea of uh, how much this would be in their local currency. So everything, each individual element under a hundred US dollars we're going to demonstrate this camp saw, this folding camp saw. It's uh, from woods, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some branches off this uh, white pine. That's right to, it's to my right here, because I'm trying to clear a path in my forest. All I'm doing is clearing some of the branches. I'm not uh, felling the tree itself. All right, so let's get right to it. I'm going to start by cutting this branch a few inches away from the base of the tree because I want to hang my uh, my pack on this one so let's begin there goes one right, and this one I'm going to cut right at the base continue with these ones So as you saw, it's a pretty, pretty fast saw um, for twenty dollars. Now I'm not sure if it was twenty or twenty-nine. This was twenty or thirty dollars from Canadian Tire. It's called Woods. I think it's a pretty well-made saw. Um, like it, it's pretty tight at the pivot. Um, the safety trigger here you can see that safety trigger seems to be pretty well made um, hasn't you know broke on me yet that's the saw it's, it's a pack saw um, I give it a four out of five and for the cost uh, you can't go wrong there's a lot of other expensive saws out there that are very good quality very well made um, this series is not about spending a lot of money on bushcraft implements it's about trying to save a buck you know um, it's trying to look at your you know your wallet 
So that's the saw. You saw how effective it was in cutting those branches. I cut them at the, uh, the base and I cut the other one for hanging. Um, I cut the other one a few inches out to hang my pack. And you saw how fast I did that. Didn't take much time. Um, why don't I, oh, I just caught myself there. Why don't I show you how, you know, how it cuts through these uh, branches right here. Cuts are nice and clean. Some fat one in this. So some fat wood in this, you can see. This is actually good for harvesting. That's fat wood. Yeah. Um, I'll probably lay these here for now. And uh, I'll return. I'll return and I'll harvest these. And Keep them for some fat wood. That's what I'll do. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And stay tuned for another episode. Thanks for watching, guys.
Fudge. Come, buddy. I want to show you guys a gift I got for Christmas. It's a little container called Thermos. And it's a nice little implement that you can put in your pack. And it keeps drinks warm. What I've got in here is a ginger and lemon concoction in hot water. I've been hiking for about an hour. And I brewed, well I boiled the water uh, a couple of hours ago and I put the I put sliced ginger and sliced lemon um, so I'm gonna have some it's not that cold out but it's quite nice actually top lid and on top is a spoon so if you're bringing soups with you we've got this sort of retractable spoon Right, so it retracts like so right. and then you put that on the top of your thermos and so I don't need that right now so the top lid has a very nice plastic seal very nicely done and it seals in the heat rather well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of tip the lid out a bit so that the lemon and ginger don't fall out of it get my cup let's pour my tea in there And this fits nicely into my my drinking cup. Alright, so put it down here for a sec. I don't know if you can see the ginger in there. And so I'm gonna seal that back up. Leave it. Leave it. So it's a nice gift I got for Christmas. Um, and in keeping with uh, this series that I'm doing, it's bushcraft on a budget. My wife got it for me, but uh, so it was free. <laughs> The cost was well under a hundred U.S. dollars, and she got it at Walmart in uh, Barrie, Barrie, Ontario. So uh, here, I'm gonna take a zip of this. And it's still hot, but you know I put a lot of ginger in here, and only a couple of thin slices of lemon. How about the ginger? It's so strong, and it's it's just the way I like it. Uh, ginger is great in the tea. And, 
ginger is very healthy for you. One of the things that it helps me with is um, emptying the stomach. Ginger has a uh, has a special effect that um, quickens the emptying of the stomach up to uh, don't quote me on the percent, but um, up to 10, 15 percent faster. And so I find that it helps my uh, bloating. It helps uh, lighten my stomach. It's also good to prevent uh, the common cold. But enough about ginger tea. You can get this at Walmart and what I'll do is I'll find uh, a link to this on Amazon. I'm sure they sell these on Amazon as well. And I'll provide a link below the video. Um, for Canadian and US Amazon sites and that'll give you an idea of what the price is of this little thermos so I like it it keeps drinks warm I think or you know meat I guess hot not piping hot but keeps drinks uh, warm to hot for up to nine hours not bad it's light doesn't take up much space in your in your pack uh, but there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed that little video, and we'll see you next time.